While I love Studio Press and their themes, which are based on the Genesis framework, um, the code is tight. It's beautiful. It's some of the easiest to customize themes out there. It's a very powerful framework. Occasionally, small mistakes slip through the cracks. Uh, the latest incarnation of the executive theme is an example of a really small mistake slipping through the cracks. Uh, when you set up the theme, if you use the built-in functionality to automatically display your site's name up in the header, it's clickable. So if I'm on any interior page and I click on the name of the site, it goes back to the home page. However, if you replace that with the logo, it is not clickable. Um, you can't do anything with it. Thankfully, it's a really, really easy fix. So here's a site that I'm working on reskinning. Um, as you can see, there's a logo inserted here, and it's not clickable at all. Very easy fix. If you go out to the ID, uh, I'm using Chrome, so I right-click the next inspected element. This is the title area, and over here it shows the CSS rules. The width is set to 25%. If you change that to 250 pixels, or the width of your logo, suddenly becomes clickable and will take you back to the home page of your site. So it's a matter of just going into your code, finding the CSS, which I'll show you where it is real quick. And changing that from 250, so from 25% to 250 pixels. As soon as you do that, it's clickable. So you can be on any interior part of your website, uh, like my sample page, click the logo, and it takes you back to the beginning. Really simple fix for a really small problem that went through the cracks. Uh, if you liked this video and if it helped you out, please give me a like or a share on Facebook, uh, Google Plus, or Twitter. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys.